everyone. This is a Geek Must Have with a project build video. This is how to make a improved portable book converter for under $10. And this is what the device looks like. This project build is how to build a better portable buck converter for less than 10 bucks. I'm going to be using a standard board from AliExpress that is the adjustable voltage module. And it has 5 to 23 volts in and because it's a buck converter it'll generate 5 to maybe 20 volts out even though the spec says 16. It'll go up to 2 amps max, but they don't recommend running it at that speed for a very long period of time. It comes with an acrylic case, this case right here that makes it uh, easy to protect the actual unit itself. It has an STN LCD display with white characters on a blue background and a nice little cloud logo that it has. It uh, has up and down uh, adjust buttons to adjust the voltage for down and up and it can be calibrated and it's calibrated at 5 volts DC so when you calibrate it you'll have to have more than 5 volts going into it. A 9 volt battery or a 12 volt power source would be great. It has screw terminal leads on it. These are the leads that go in through the front right here and some of the mods that I made to it to make it a better portable buck converter is I added 2.1 millimeter jacks for both the in and the output which are in parallel with the actual screw terminals so you can use the screw terminals and or the 2.1 millimeter jacks. I made up some custom 2.1 millimeter cables with special plugs and ends on them and I added some labeling on the outside so that I wouldn't accidentally blow this thing up because I accidentally plugged it in incorrectly. So you know it's a it's a portable buck converter. I made a few changes to it and for less than 10 bucks I have a nice little gadget to stick inside of my toolbox. This is the modified buck converter after I did a few little updates to it. One of the mods was adding these 2.1 millimeter jacks, which are standard panel mount jacks, and hot gluing them to the side, shrink tubing some wire, hot gluing the wire, and soldering it into place. It's really fortunate for me that they already had holes cut out in the bottom of this acrylic case so I didn't have to go and do any modifications to the case itself. The other modification I did was to build some simple cables to go along with the buck converter. And the first one is one that has a 2.1 millimeter at one end and a standard USB plug at the other and uh, I kind of bodged this together one of my poorer wiring jobs but the cable works fine this allows me to plug this into a power source anything up to well 25 volts I happen to have a power bank that does 19 and then this plugs into the input of the buck converter another cable I made was this cable that has a 2.1 millimeter plug on the end. Fairly heavy duty cable. This came off of a 4 amp power supply. And onto it I have soldered two standard spring clip probes to be able to clip on to either breadboards or 
volt ohm meters or whatever. The other cable I made was this short cable with soldered ends on it that were at the exact length that are necessary to go in to those screw terminals on the buck converter and stop. And they're soldered with a little more solder on them to make the wire a little bit thicker so that they fit more securely inside of there. On the end, I made these little J-hooks where I added some additional solder to make them solid so it becomes a solid piece of wire instead of a stranded piece of wire. And then by some creative use of some shrink wrap where I held onto this shrink wrap while I apply the heat to this end, I was able to put these little covers on there and this helps prevent the clips from shorting them out because you can actually use the clip to come inside here and clip onto it safely. So these are my geek must have special pigtails. The calibration of this buck converter is pretty simple. It's done at a 5 volt standard. So the buck converter will generate 5 volts. And then the objective is to get the output to match the 5 volts here. I'm going to be using my trusty portable power bench supply. And it's set at 12 volts. So when I turn it on by clicking this button, it'll apply power to the input part of the buck converter. To put it into calibration mode, before I click on that on off button, I have to hold on the down button of the actual buck converter. And when I do that and turn the power on, it will flash. And as soon as it starts flashing, lift your finger off of that button right away. I'm pressing down the button, supplying the 12 volts. It is blinking to let us know that it is in calibration mode. And it'll go from 4.99 to 4.98 to 5. But as you can see, the output is at 4.44, 4.45. The idea is to use these adjustments buttons to get this to read 5 volts. Oh, too far. The buck converter reads 5 volts. The output reads 5.0203. And that's close enough for most of the work that you'll be doing. Then you power the unit, take the power of the unit off. So there I am, I've taken the power and shut it off, and I'll turn it back on again. And the voltage on the buck converter says 514, on the meter it says 517. So I'm going to move it down to 3.5 volts. And you can Move the voltage quicker by just pressing the button and holding it down. Oh, only you don't get too carried away. So there's 3.5, and it's 3.53 or 4 on the output, which again is close enough for most work. This is the enhanced portable buck converter with a few enhancements. It has made it a much more functional unit. Here is the cost of the portable buck converter. The buck converter itself was $4.39 from AliExpress. I'll post a link to it in the description below. Uh, the 2.1 millimeter jacks were 25 cents a piece, and the 2.51 millimeter plugs were like 27, 28 cents a piece. Uh, the spring probes, that are these probes here, uh, two of them out of the package were 75 cents, and I cut them in half so I have two probes left, but I'm going to say 75 cents. And then wire and stuff, shrink wrap, solder, whatever. $6.79. That's a better portable buck converter for less than $10. This Build a Better Portable Buck Converter project 
took an inexpensive buck converter and by adding a few mods to it, turned it into something that is much more useful. And that is this project build.